Over the past nine years, Viktor Ivanov has collected more than 500 bricks, 200 shingles, and even more ceramic tiles. He stores all of this in his garage. Rubinsky. Bricks from the 19th century form the majority of his collection. Victor wanders around the neighborhood, particularly searching for marked bricks. It's by these marks that he identifies the bricks' original owners. He searches the archives for information. He says that every brick has its own story. This is a very interesting story. The trade house of Yeliseev himself, who was one of the richest. He had shops in St. Petersburg, in Moscow and in Kiev. By a quirk of fate, he ended up in Drushkivka and married a woman from Bakhmut. He bought a horse farm and a brick factory and started to manufacture shingles and bricks. The local authorities of Kramatorsk want to create a museum of construction materials. One of the oldest houses there may become the location for it. This particular house is where the workers of the brick factory used to live in the 19th century. Even the Consul General of Germany and Ukraine, Wolfgang Messinger, has shown interest in the project. We wanted to suggest this building to the Europeans to secure their financial support. The owner of this building is ready to lease it for almost nothing, but we need money to renovate the building. If the museum is established, Victor is ready to contribute his collection.